Hey guys, Vinica here, and welcome back to more To The Moon. Um, if you're wondering why I waited such a long time to make this next installment, uh, it's because I made such a long first video that I wanted to give everyone time to go ahead and watch it. And I'm not gonna make this one shorter this time, I actually have a stopwatch up so I can watch how long my thing is. So let's go ahead and do this. Hello people. What was I doing? I don't even remember. Oh, okay. Wait a minute. They were referring to the lighthouse as Anya, weren't they? Yeah, I figured that out. I thought they were talking about the platypus. <laughs> I suppose so. Then, that river. She declined treatment for the sake of a lighthouse. <laughs> Isn't that a bit too extreme? I've seen stranger things in the course of the job. Me too, but ugh, I can never wrap my head around it. It's none of our business anyway. She's not our client. Received no Anya. Okay. Erg. We're behind a tree. Hmm. Guess we can't go that way. So where are we gonna find our- Whoa, peeps. Should we follow them? Nah, let's go down here first. I'm walking like a spaz. Ah. Okay. Okay, so we got all of our things. So I just have to activate it, I suppose. I don't want to do this quite yet. I want to follow those people and see what they're up to. I'm sorry. <laughs> so... Boop. Besides, it's probably something important. And this game has such a good story. I want to experience all of it. Come on. Oh no, it's just them. Okay. So then, down here is where they put their house? Huh. Thank you for destroying the wildlife. <laughs> Cat. Okay, let's do this. This. Ah, Shizers! I messed this up already. Why is there no diagonal this way? Uh, I made this perfectly terrible. Oh, yay! Okay. My sweetie little cat sleeping on my USB cord. Don't get your fur in it. River. Okay, so we begin places. Dear Lord, not again. <laughs> I guess this is when he first started noticing the rabbits. Okay, we'll go this way. Piano! An old baby grand piano. How the heck did they move this thing upstairs? Who knows, but I'd bet it'd be a piece of cake for that TARDIS. For the TARDIS? For the... Not really, you can't even get it through its door. Mm, true. Well, that settles it. Moving pianos is a pain in the arse for everyone. It'd probably take an entire episode to get inside. 
I wouldn't mind seeing such an episode. <laughs> Me neither. It sounds pretty epic. <laughs> I don't even know what they're talking about. New boxes of plain paper. Uh-oh. I think I know where this is going. Rabbits! You went out for a haircut this early in the morning? What are you making there? What? <laughs> That's weird English. Rabbits. Did you see the rabbit I left for you? Yeah. Tell me about that rabbit. Huh? Describe the rabbit. Um, it was yellow. What else? A bit puffy. And? Well, it's just a paper rabbit. I don't know how else to describe it. You're acting strange, River. Is something wrong? River? I don't know about you, but I'm getting some inverse deja vu. I think I know of her condition, but this is rather odd even for that. You think she's... Do you? Perhaps. Who knows? But like you said, she's not our client. Let's just get what we're paid for over with. You aren't curious? Many strands of long... of orange hair. Okay. Ah... Uh, plant puss. Okay. So this is the day she started it, huh? Nothing else to check out? Okay. Wait, this puzzle is getting bigger. I noticed that. Ehhh. Hi, puzzle. I can't solve you already. My bad puzzling skills, no. Okay, well at least I cleared that. Okay. Diagonal finishes for the win. Kitty kitty. Whoa. Platypus in a car. <laughs> Music is all scary now. Why'd she leave a platypus in the car? At least it's a boulder. <laughs> What's wrong, little kitty? Okay. Now we just... Where are they? My gosh. I mean, this area is pretty, but it's just like, where are they? <laughs> 
This is where the house used to be, isn't it? The house that never should have been. I mean, really, what is it about unusually high and dangerous places that attract people? Acrophobia. <laughs> Alright, so we can go this way. That looked fun. And go here. Wet pull it on a sec. Eh. Okay. Huh. Is that why you approached me back then? Yeah. What about now? I suppose it's just a part of it. Look, it was a long time ago. It's not too relevant now, but Izzy said I should tell you the truth. I shouldn't have tainted our first meeting like that. What's going on? What is that, a hacky sack? Can you throw this as far as where Anya's at? I don't know. You want me to try? Would you? River! Are you insane? Get away from there! I think this memory isn't too far from the last. Think they may be connected? Probably. Weird. I can't move. Okay. Okay. Why did she cut her hair anyway? I like long hair. I really noticed her hair was shorter, but okay. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Oh my god, I actually did something smart for once. <laughs> Yay. Sleepy kitty. <laughs> Everyone with it is different, John. Just because she and I share the syndrome doesn't mean we share the same head. But well, you must be able to help somehow. Everything was okay at first, but now she's even more aloof than before. Even when we're in the same room, she's never really there. It's starting to take a toll on me. I just don't know how to take it anymore. Well... I can't speak for her, but many of us do long for connections. Though, being able to articulate that is a different story. Just because she struggles to express it, it doesn't mean she doesn't feel anything. She's still there, right? Sometimes you just have to have faith that she cares. It's pretty difficult to do, day in and day out. I know. 
Wait, but why do you see seem so normal, Izzy? I mean, don't you have the same condition? For one, I was diagnosed when I was still young. With effort, it's not impossible to acquire a guise of social norm systematically. But you know what? I both envy and pity River. Me, I'm an actress because I've been doing it all my life. Not only on stage, but off stage, and practically at every moment. I've gotten good at it because acting is the only option I have. It's the only way for me to be normal. But River, she never did that. She remained an outcast and refused to learn to step against it. I don't know if it is by choice or by limit, whether bravery or cowardice. There are days when I just can't stand faking it anymore. And then, I realize that it's too late. The Isabel that people know of is all an act, but the real me has long become a stranger. I think in the end, I just envy her. Huh. I've never met a woman with it before. Then technically, you still haven't met one. This, this isn't part of our business, so let's move on. Hey, things, nope. I would wonder what this condition is that they're talking about. I mean, yeah, well, we're gonna find out eventually, but we still don't know as of now. The world would be a lot more beautiful if people just remembered faces more. Anything new today? No. What are you rereading there? The Emperor's new clothes. I loved this when I was young. Still do, huh? Of course. Just for different reasons. When I was a kid, I loved the Animorph series. <laughs> I know. Your mother gave you a book from it as a wedding present. Heh, <laughs> yeah. That was one odd wedding present. I guess I was pretty obsessed with it when I was a kid. Why haven't you read them since? Hmm? I saw them. They're collecting dust in the garage. Well, I just grew out of them, I guess. I mean, the children's books. What's wrong with reading children's books? I have to agree, I love reading, like, Eden Blyton. Stuff since... That's candy, yo. <laughs> They're comforting. I suppose so. I think I'm going to get this one. Hmm. I'm not yours, you're not mine. Be my anti-Valentine. Hey, River, this one's not that corny. River? But what about David's? He's my favorite character. Uh, I don't know. What are you talking about now? <laughs> 
Animorphs, have you read it? No. Yes. <laughs> really? Sort of. <laughs> oh, oh, do you know what animal is David's main cover morph? Um. Uh. Rabbit. That seems to be the main theme in this, so. It's a rabbi, guys. Can I backspace? It's not a rabbi, I swear, okay. Uh, platypus wouldn't fit then. Cat. That doesn't sound right. Don't worry, I'll find it out for ya. Okay. Why is that teleporting? I want to talk to you. Tobias Hawk, Rachel Grizzly, Jake Tiger, Marco Gorilla, David Cobra, Cassie Wolf. Why? Oh, just wondering. <laughs> You could have just googled it. So he's a cobra, right? Okay, I'm gonna go cobra. Eh. Stop. Do you know what animal is David's main cover morph? It's a cobra. Yeah. Oh yeah, cobra. I really wish they kept the old covers instead of these plain sheets. Those were cool. Okay, so we got all the things. Haha, <laughs> I'm surprised. I remember that. <laughs> Boom! Okay, let's see how to do this systematically. Okay. Uh huh. And uh huh. Yeah! Yay! Is the Animorphs thing a, seri a real thing? I'm not sure. What is this? Aw, uh, everyone's leaving already? But I just got here. <laughs> Seems to happen to you a lot at parties. Oh, go save your childish jobs for the insecure. <laughs> An aged Animorphs book. A glass of bottle of pickled olives. I see le fromage, but where's the mouse? That's the corniest remark you've made all night. Don't you mean... Cheesiest remark? <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, I don't know if you guys know this, but I'm such a sucker for corny jokes. So where is the mouse? Mousey mouse. Okay, if we go up here. Maybe it started raining. Maybe that's why they're all leaving. Yeah. Such a large space, and the walking is kind of difficult. <laughs> hmm. What is happening? Do you feel any different? Now that we got the rings on, I mean. 
No. Why? Do you? Actually... Yeah, I think so. <laughs> what is it like? It's just... different. Just the responsibilities, I suppose. Responsibilities. Do you like the name Anya? Would you like to name her Anya? I understand. Yeah. Anya's a good name for her. Hey, come with me. This can't be a good idea. I'll probably trip and fall. Don't worry, just follow my steps. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> Ow, my butt. <laughs> I think you stepped on my toes. <laughs> Sorry. Come on, let's try again. <laughs> they got him so quick. <laughs> to promise to love and comfort, to honor and keep in sickness and in health for as long as you shall live. I don't really care for these things. I do. And you take this man sitting before you to be your lawfully wedded husband. I feel so lonely. Oh my god, you don't know how lonely it is to read wedding vows to yourself. <laughs> to promise to love and comfort, to honor, to keep in sickness and in health for as long as you shall live. Yes. By the power invested in me, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Mr. and Mrs. Wiles. Ack! The wedding. Uh, yeah, what do you think that was? I'm just bad at weddings, that's so. all. Fluids tend to escape from my eyes. I didn't know you were that sentimental. Oh, did I say my eyes? I meant my mouth. <laughs> if I fluids, I meant both fluids and <laughs> salt. <gasps> that's a lovely image. Thanks, Neil. Come on, let's find a way to get out of here. <laughs> All this happiness and joy is putting you off too, huh? No. I just don't like watching people make mistakes. Sheesh. Whatever happened to you, just take it moment by moment. <laughs> okay, any peeps? Nope. Have you guys ever been to a wedding before? I have. I was the flower girl. And the annoying ring carrier kept tearing up the flower in his pocket, and we had to keep giving him some. It was annoying. What's going on? Okay. I don't even really remember it that well. I think my dress is ugly, though. 
Oh, I'd better go see how your aunt is doing. Alright, Ma. Thank her tell her thanks for coming. I will. Oh my gosh, you look like a giant dust pile. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so proud of you, Joey. Joey? Oh. That's my grandpa's name. <laughs> he passed away before I was born. Ma calls me it by calls me by it as my nickname. How come you never told me about it? Cause I'd rather you call me John. Ack! Not another sentimental grandparent childhood. What do you have against those anyway? I mean you sure talk about your grandfather a lot. What? No I don't. Whatever you say. Joey. Let's see what's going on here. I'm so proud of Joey. That's a great thing to hear. Okay. Awkward steps. I'm really confuzzled. Where is the memento? Wait, the memento must be the cake! No, it's not. What the heck? <laughs> and there's a jar of pickled olives. Ah. Oh, maybe it's a car. The platypus in the car, maybe. Oh. Yeah, I hear a memento. What is this? It can't be helped for her. I'm sure they didn't mean to. Come on, we're late. Wait, is that a rabbit? Think this is the source of all those folded paper ones? Oh my god, someone hit a rabbit! How do you even do that? They just be bouncing along and then you just see them and then you stop your car. You shouldn't be driving that fast anyway. Oh my god! <gasps> what?! No! Yes, you do obsess over not some roadkill, but it's an animal that had a life! You should obsess over it! You should feel bad till the day you die for every single animal that you ever kill, whether it be intentional or unintentional. Shame on you! Why would she obsess over some roadkill? Not to mention so many years later. Don't ask me. You are the woman here. I'll be convinced that, that I'm the only one when you do a cordless bungee jump. Okay, this is all the same thing. Why? Why? Prepare. Oh god, please don't show us some dead rabbit. No. Why would you do this? Why? I was... Getting off totally feels free, but this rabbit is griping my groove. Uh. You know it's a fantastic running when the mementos roadkill. Hey. And maybe she saw it as a metaphor for the terrible marriage. So years later she began folding the rabbits because she was reminded of how rotten it was. That's terrible. Or, you know, something equally pretentious. Cool, st cool story, Neil. And things will stop here due to complications during recording. Very sorry about that. So, like and favorite if you enjoy, subscribe to see more To The Moon, and I hope to see you next time and we'll find out what happened to that poor rabbit. Yeah, see you!